this uh, big circle with, with urine in it, which is gonna look a little bit black or dark. And then we're gonna, hey guys, my name is Dan, I'm a veterinarian. Today I'm gonna show you, how, as a veterinarian, how I go about getting urine on a cat. Getting urine on a cat can be pretty challenging. A dog, you can just walk them outside and they get they give you potty, right? So with, with a kitty cat, it's a little bit harder because they're not gonna pee on demand and I don't want them peeing in a litter box. Even if I put little beads in there from the pee on top of, they can still get contamination from their feet and their fur and then it's like, well, how good was the urine? I don't know, as a cat pee in a litter box. So what we're gonna do today is we are gonna have the cat uh, on its back and we're gonna use a long needle, a really, really, really small gauge needle to get some urine. This is called a cystocentesis, meaning I'm going to um, use a needle and insert it with an ultrasound to guide me into the bladder and we're gonna pull some urine. This is our kitty. We are a rescue kitty and he is super sweet and he has had some lower urinary tract issues, meaning he has some blood in his urine on occasion. And we're gonna check and make sure it looks good today. The ultrasound probe is gonna go in his belly. We're gonna visualize the urinary bladder. The urinary bladder, guys, is gonna be this, this, this uh, big circle with, with urine in it, which is gonna look a little bit black or dark. And then we're gonna take our needle and place it next to the ultrasound probe and advance it into the abdomen. And we're gonna see the little needle appear in the ultrasound and we're gonna pull back on the syringe and it's gonna fill with urine. After I get between one to three mils of urine, depending on what I need, if I need a culture, I'm gonna pull more. Just a simple uh, urinalysis, I'm gonna pull a little bit less. We're gonna pull this back and we're gonna see what we got inside there. I then run it for the urinalysis machine and in this case, we put this kitty on special food to control the lower urinary tract inflammation or idiopathic cystitis and the food worked beautifully and the urine looks great today. All right guys, hope this was crazy helpful walking you through how a veterinarian gets urine on your kitty. We do this on dogs too. And sometimes if you wanna do a culture or you wanna make sure that the urine is as clean as possible, we will do this procedure called a cystocentesis with this little needle here to make sure it's as clean as possible and not contaminated by the lower urinary tract. As always guys, my name is Dan, I'm a veterinarian. Thanks so much for watching, I really appreciate it. You guys take care, bye.